Welcome to 414, a course on algorithms and computing programming in Python. My name is Julio Cesar Goes and I will be the course responsible for the fall 2020. Why programming? That's a question that you might be asking yourself since you are probably on an economics major or a business major. And the answer is quite simply. Uh, think about our current competitive environment. And nowadays, staying ahead of the technology curve is very important to be competitive. So, computer programming is going to give you that edge to always stay up to date with the current technology. Think about, for example, data analysis. If you want to turn data into knowledge, you would need a heavy machinery, meaning computers, given the amount of data that we have today. And tools like Excel or some other popular that have been used by uh, practitioners in the past or until recently are now not being able to handle or cope with these challenges. So, Knowing a bit about computer programming is going to put you at the front when it comes to compete for your dream job. So, programming is quite an interesting tool. So, the other question you may be asking is why Python? So, for those of you that haven't heard about Python before, this is a fully featured programming language that has brought programming to a wide range of practitioners that are not necessarily professional programmers. So an example of that is Paul Romer, who is the 2018 Nobel Prize winner in economics. He chose Python because it's an open source tool that allows him to do good science, do it well, and be transparent. More reasons to use Python. This brings me back to my first statement. Python has brought programming to a wide range of non-professional programmers. And these are two quotes from The Economist that points in this direction. So, as I mentioned before, Python is a fully featured la programming language that allows you to do a lot and do it well. So you can do things from data science analysis all the way to develop web, professional web pages. One thing that is good about Python is that makes it easier for people that are not willing to be a professional programmer, but they need the programming uh, tool to do the job. And given the popularity of the language, quite probably you will find yourself in a situation where Python is going to allow you to collaborate with your colleagues in your future work because it's very widely distributed or used around the world. So now, hopefully, for by now you are convinced, convinced that learning to program is a good thing. So if that is the case, you might be asking yourself, can I take this course? And the answer is yes. The door is open to take 414 because there are no prerequisites to take the course. The aim of this course is to take you in into the world of programming and allow you to go beyond the learning of the instructions that you can give to a computer and make you more uh, fluent in the programming uh, jargon and, and world so you can interact and collaborate more productively with people that might be involved in developing digital tools and business people are always welcome in this environment. So now, what, what are we going to study in this course? So as I mentioned before, the goal of the course is to make you more fluent in the programming world. So for doing that, we are going to start looking at programming, not just as the use of a computer or learning instructions, but going back to the process of analyzing a problem, defining the requirements of that problem, and what are the steps to solving that problem, and get you into 
the world of algorithms. So algorithms are these generic set of instructions that will allow you to achieve a task in a very precise, well-defined manner. Having done that, the next step is to use that and translate it into a language that the computer will understand. And that is what programming is. So we'll use Python as a tool to learn how this process works, taking an algorithm to a computer tool. And hopefully by the end, you will have a good understanding of the cycle of creating a computational tool and a very good command of what Python is as a language. Well, thank you very much for listening to my presentation and I hope to see some of you in 414 during this fall.